Um, it was fine. It kind of reminded me of being in high school again. Um, I used to play it a lot in high school and during AU, so it was just kind of like playing like I always used to play back at home, so it was fine. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> What was it like be, being out there to start the game? Just a lot of energy in the building. Um, yeah, it was exciting. Um, emotions were high. It was a crazy feeling. You know, you, you know you have to focus on the game, but, you know, your emotions are running wild knowing that it's your last time playing here. So it was a lot of feelings, but um, uh, we were excited, and I was excited to, you know, get out there early. Um, definitely, definitely. Um, it, we just were kind of a little all over the place, and then we came in at halftime, kind of got our minds right, kind of got ourselves together. People had to change sneakers, you know, we just had to get it going, and I think we came back in the second half, you know, went on that little run and got it together. What did you guys say when you first got here, you and Brooke didn't get along? How did you, you guys get together the way you became close? Um... It was crazy. We were in the dorms the first summer here, and she played a song that I just didn't expect her to even know. And then uh, we just started talking, and then, like, we clicked, like, instantly. Like, she's where we call each other salt and pepper partners in crime. Like, uh, we, you never saw one without the other, especially freshman year. I mean, still to this day, um, she's definitely, like, my best friend. So it's crazy how it happened. It had to mean a little bit to you then to see her get out there and start the game tonight. Uh, yeah, it was really emotional because um, I knew that she wanted to get out there, but I didn't know she thought she was like 100% to actually play. So that for them to do that for her, I, I was happy that she got to go out there. When you see teams cutting down the nets on TV and mm -hmm. all that, you always, when you look at that, do you think what it would be like for you to actually do it? What was it like here? Yeah, it was a surreal. Um, it's something I, I want to say every college player dreams of, you know, cutting the net down. And uh, I don't even think we knew what was coming next. You know, we didn't know we were getting a trophy. We thought we were just going to get, like, T-shirts or something. So it was overwhelming. It was exciting. And uh, I something I always remember. You feel like you can be good at that? Uh, yeah, this is just practice. You know, we're trying to keep it going, you know, so next time it will be perfect. Jess Harlow with the trophy on the table, and she pulled the glue <laughs> all over it, and you really found something special on the table. Yeah. We were excited because we didn't know if we should, you know, wait for someone to do it or we were supposed to do it. So we were just anticipating and just did it, and then everybody just went crazy. So it was it was fun. Coach Terry almost dropped it there. <laughs> yeah, he told us to hold it in for him because he was like, I know he was so excited. You know, we all were. One final question for Taylor. Early on in the second half, uh, you guys were tied. Three seconds, you came back and tied a little bit. Three how did you guys, uh, what, what, what went on in that huddle? Um, what did you guys say? What was it like? Uh, you know, you got to understand this team, we, we've been in that position so many times this year uh, when teams come back or, you know, it's just been a tight game the whole game and we've persevered, persevered so many times. So, you know, we were just like, we've been here before. You know, we have a goal at the end of this 20 minutes and you know, at second half and we were like, we're going to get that goal. You know, it's going to be up and down. Coach Carey told us that from the beginning of the game and we just had to stay focused and, you know, we had a goal and we just went to get it.